Hi guys, welcome back to The Dog That Saved Me. Today we're going to be talking about PTSD statistics and facts. So, June is National PTSD Awareness Month, and so I thought I would dedicate a series of videos this month just to PTSD, since that's what I have and that's what I deal with every single day. Um, so yeah, June is PTSD Awareness Month. Teal is PTSD Awareness Color. It's also the awareness color of several other um, diseases and conditions and whatnot. But for PTSD, it is teal. So we're going to get into some PTSD statistics. The first one is 70% of the adults in the United States have gone through some form of traumatic experience. And of that 70%, only 20% of those end up developing PTSD. It's estimated that at any given time, 8% of the American population is suffering with PTSD. It's also estimated that one in every 10 women develop PTSD. And that number is twice as high as that of men. So women are twice as likely to develop PTSD as men are. People who are victims of severe traumatic experiences 60 to 80% of those people are likely to develop PTSD. Almost 50% of all outpatient mental health patients have PTSD. Now we're gonna talk about PTSD and those who have been in combat. Combat veterans are 10 to 30% likely to develop PTSD. Of course, those numbers depend on the war and their experiences. Different wars have different percentages of people who develop PTSD. It's estimated that one in every five military personnel returning from Iraq and Afghanistan have PTSD. 20% of the soldiers deployed within the last six years have developed PTSD. 17% of combat troops are women. And of those women, 71% of those women have PTSD due to sexual assault within the military. Now we're gonna talk about just a few more PTSD statistics. According to the National Center for PTSD, nearly 100% of children who have experienced parental homicide or sexual assault will develop PTSD. 90% of children who have been sexually abused will develop PTSD. 77% of children who have survived a school shooting will develop PTSD. 35% of youth who experience community violence will develop PTSD. Now we're just going to take a moment to talk about PTSD and healthcare. People with PTSD have the highest use of healthcare services. This is because healthcare providers often overlook the symptoms and misdiagnose them because they are unaware of a trauma in that person's life causing these symptoms. It's estimated that we spend $43.2 million annually for the care and treatment of PTSD patients. The one last thing I wanna leave you guys with is that PTSD is not a brain illness, but in fact, PTSD is a brain injury. The trauma that you experienced has caused the brain to be injured. So if you know someone with PTSD or you are suffering with PTSD, the brain is injured, not sick. Those are just a few facts and statistics that I wanted to share with you guys. I plan on doing 
more videos about PTSD this month. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys this time. I love you. I'll see you later.